can you tell us a little bit about how you got started in music? Keep it a bunk. I've been around music my whole life, so feel me? It's like, I really actually started writing when I was like 12, but I've been into music since like a baby. Like, I ain't gonna lie. Like, music just been the, the vocal point my whole life type shit. That makes any sense. Is there a certain artist you looked up to growing up or like an influence you had? Fab, I ain't gonna hold you. Fab, that's my boy right there. He get physical with this rap shit. I ain't gonna lie. And when's the, when did you start to take music seriously? Last year, like when I just came home off this off this last present bit I just did. I came home November last year, so that's when I started taking music serious. And so how do you make songs? Like what's your creative process? Like do you listen to other music or Honestly, I can't say I listen to other music, but like I go off a vibe, feel me? So it's like I gotta be in a moment. Like when I feel like I wanna write or I feel like I got some shit to say, that's when I'll go write type shit. You know what I'm saying? And sometimes I won't even write. I'll go to the studio and just freestyle, I'll just go top of that. It all depends on how I feel or the vibe or the mood type shit. And how do you how would you describe your own sound? My shit just different, feel me? I can't, that's some shit you can't even explain. You just gotta listen to that and just hear that, feel me? It hit everybody different, so, you know, it's up to you to decide how my sound is, feel me? But all I gotta say is, my shit just different, you heard? So how do you feel about, like, the current trends in music? You feel like, cause it's like a lot of cop people copying each other and shit like that. I mean, yeah, I see that going on a lot of shit, but you feel me, like, Everything already been done before, so it's like, it's cool to like pay how much of some shit, or to some something somebody did. But you gotta have your own source to that. Feel me? Like, don't just outright take somebody's shit. Feel me? Have your own strip to your own source. Feel me? Make sure you know it's still sound like you at the end of the day. Yeah. And as far as like building the image as an artist, you feel because what I've been asking people about lately is how artists can fake it nowadays. Like they could fake their whole lifestyle. So what do you feel about that? Because I know you're one of the people that don't fake it. That's just really just you. So You know, with that shit, only the real gonna relate. You know, if you're a real nigga, you know who really spend the truth. If you're a fraud, you know you're a fraud. That's really at the end of the day, you feel me? Like, shout out to whoever doing their thing, you feel me? But the real know what's going on. The streets know what's going on. Do you have any dream collabs or like people you really want to work with or anything accomplishments you want to achieve in music? Fab, of course. I definitely want to work with Max B. <laughs> I want to work with Sade, not for nothing. Sade is fire. Like she got some heat. I ain't gonna lie. Sade, I didn't expect you to say Sade. <laughs> <laughs> A lot of people don't, but you feel me? Like I listen to rap, like rap and shit. Like I like it. But you feel me, like, my favorite genre is really Neil Soul. Like, I feel like the Jill Scott's Eric about doing shit, like, a lot of smooth shit. You feel me? But I listen to a lot of drill, feel me, New York shit. You feel me? But Neil Soul, that's that's my vibe, feel me? That's dope. And you feel like that's helpful for you as an artist to come up with ideas by, like, keeping an open mind with other sounds? Yeah, hell yeah, that's a fact. Because you feel me, like, it lets you think about different shit. Like, I can write about the street shit and the drill shit all day. You feel me? That's the shit I'm living. That's regular shit. You feel me? Anybody in the street can talk about that. You feel me? But, like, if you listen to different shit and other things, it, it's going to open up your mind to different ideas and different topics and different things to say and how to word shit and how to do different things. You feel me? Shit like that just makes you a versatile artist when you do things like that. And do you have any advice for other artists or motivation or any? Like words of encouragement that you want to let people know. Yo, just keep working. Keep it a buck. Yo, consistency is key. Like, even if your shit is trash, just consistency. People in, love to see hard work. As long as you put in the work in and people see that, they're going to fuck with you. You feel me? Like, that's all it is. Don't just be one of them niggas that drop some shit and just go away for months and shit. Just be consistent. Because you go away for months, people going to forget about you for months. This music shit is, 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 is rapid now. Like, you always got to... Keep putting things out so people don't forget about you. Cause there's so many artists, so you just gotta just keep working and be yourself. Feel me? That's really all it is. Consistency is key. And have a large catalog. That's really all it is. All right, that was good. And now I just want you to do like a little drop for yourself. Like this is Skrilla. If you have any like um, project coming up or anything you want to promo, and then like and you're watching your plugs favorite. Just got you. 
Yo, Skrilla Binley here. You're watching your plug's favorite. Forever form, forever steppers. Skrilla season out now on all streaming platforms. Go look that up. Feel me? I just dropped the video, La La. That shit going crazy right now. Make sure you tune in that. The whole gang going crazy. Make sure you tune in the whole forever form. Feel me? You're going up. You're about to take over the city, you are. All right, perfect. All right, cool. I'm going to move this around and we're going to do the